the next step of our step-by-step -step NetSuite setup is around classifications, right? So department, classes, locations, and then a custom classification called custom segments. I'm not going to deal with that at this point in time um, as it is additional and most small businesses like mine will just not use it. I also personally believe it slows down your account, so I tend to prefer not to use it if I possibly can. So we're going to, for this, for the moment, I'm going to focus on departments. But these three classes, department classes and locations, really kind of work hand in hand. Okay, so departments. All right, so let's go to departments, set up, company. And you will notice these videos and my setup log essentially follow this setup, right? I've started at the top and I've worked my way slowly, slowly down. Now you'll see we've made our way down to classifications and departments is our first one. Now, for departments, just like pretty much everything else in NetSuite, I have a setup sheet. Um, I've got a few columns in there. There's not that many columns available. Um, I've got inactive internal ID will be given to me by the system. I'll add that later. Here are my department names. Here I, at, I say, is it a parent or a child? Um, most records in NetSuite have a parent-child relationship or you could call it a department sub-department or an account sub-account. I'm going to use the parent-child uh, terminology. So, because in J-Curve, you can only have one subsidiary, I'm actually going to use departments as subsidiaries. Right, so here is my Australian company. That is my new American company. This is my super fund and this is up to other companies of colleagues that I'm going to run on this same system. Right, so I'm just going to go and start creating them here. So here I go. New department. And I'm just going to literally copy and paste them. Paste. It doesn't have a parent because it is the parent. So I'm just going to save. All right, now I'm going to go new department. But this admin is now a child of Integrity Suite, right? So I'm going to say, I'm going to paste it there. And then I'm going to say the parent for this child is Integrity Suite. So I'm going to save that. And you will see that there's an indent here. Whenever you see that indent, you know this is a child and that's the parent. Right, so I've done those first two. Then I'm going to do this one. New, I'm going to paste it in there. Again, Integrity Suite is the parent, so I'm going to save it. Right, um, and then I'm going to do this one, the American one. Save, save. And I'm going to do my super fund. Save, save. Right, these ones. Now, this one is inactive for the moment. We're going to set it up later but I still want to create it. So I know I've created all the ones I wanted to create. And that is the last one there. All right, so there I've created all my departments. It's easy as that. Let me just say that this discussion around classifications is one of those discussions that can go on for months and months, if not years, right? If you have a bunch of managers sitting around the table agreeing on this is not maybe as easy as it appears, right? So uh, the way I normally look at departments is I say, when you have your monthly management meetings, who are those people sitting around the table? I would say as a general rule, they are department owners, right? So that is normally just a simplified way to try and tease out what the departments might be, if it's not that clear. 